all right youtubers i'm back again with yet another tutorial here again and this time round we are going to be installing the bayano hospital management system which i have on my desktop here and this is um 3.8 version 3.8 so um i learned um, version 4 is out but currently this is your second but latest version 3.8 that will be installing and i hope very soon i'll be coming with you this version 4 on your screen so as we always do i rename my folder after the version name so i have um, bayano version 3 just like that then i'll move it to my root folder um cut then computer drive c um zamp and then atc docs then i'll paste it here then like we always do so when it finish moving i'll pick up um, the folder name as my url then i'll open my browser then I had already created a database um, earlier on because you know how to create database now. So um, I have a um, no, version 3, then hit enter. Then that begins with us what we are supposed to do. So now it's telling me that before running the installation, please follow the installation instructions provided in the developer manual. So that means that you have to go to their website and check on how to install this software. But I'm here to guide you through how to install the software. So we don't need to go to the developer um, manual documentation before we can do that. So I'll be doing that on your behalf. So you don't need to go there to check on this thing. So one, we need to import the database first into um, the system. So I'll go to my database. Then I hit on import. Then I'll browse to where the database is in um, my root folder on the Bayano um, tray folder. So I'll go to browse. Then I'll navigate down to drive C, ZAMP, then ATC Docs, then I have Bayano here, then I'll come to upload, then I have install SQL. So I'll hit on install SQL, then I hit on go. Then my system starts uploading the database into um, the file. So um, they said, uh, please be patient, the file is being uploaded. Details about the upload are not available yet. So um we hit on go again and then it has started uploading um, my file so let's give it some few minutes to finish uploading the sql file then we'll pick it from there all right welcome back um the importing of the database has finally um finished importing and then we have import has been successfully finished and then we have 149 queries executed from this installed file so we can switch back to um, our software they hit on the enter key to see whether it will load for us to proceed but it's still telling us that we should go to uh, the developer manual settings to check for what installation procedure so now this is what you have to do we we are going to go back to um our root folder which is um bayano 3 then i'll go to applications then um i'll configure my database file first so i'll go to config then i'll look for my database file so to make the necessary changes first so I have um my host which is um local host local host then I have um, my username which is root then I have um no password and the database is what Bayano 3 so Bayano 3 so I have Bayano 3 here so that's um my database so cross check to make sure that everything is okay so the spelling of the database name and then your username and password to make sure that everything is okay now save this and then come back cross check and see what happened then it's still telling you to check um the manual documentation to see how to um go about it so the next thing we need to do is this we need to come back to um this route um document or file then open route and currently here is saying that install the default controller is installed so the default controller we're going to change here is to our login page so i'll double click and then i'll type in login because we want um, our default controller to start from what our login page so when i come back and hit on my page then i expect to see the login page on my screen and then i have the login page so my system is set up and then i'm ready to log in so um the default username and password we have is admin example and the password is one two three four so i'll type um admin um at um ex 
example.com and the password is one two three four then i'll log in now it's logging me into the system and then i'm logged into the system so um now i can um, edit my username and password to the required username that i want to use so what i'll do is that i'll navigate to my account and then i'll update um, the email address and the password so admin name here i have admin name which is some um, uriah avenash and then the login which is some um, email address is some um, avenash at gmail then i'll update that then my password which um i need to also update so the current the current password is one two three four and then my new password is going to be um pandic 006 so i'll select um avenash to load in the password automatically then i'll update that one too and then it's saying that okay currently doing update and then password info updated successfully so now let's try logging out and logging in again to see whether it will pick the login details so i'll log out and then try logging in again so i'll pick um uriah avenash and it loses the password and i'll log in and then it seems everything worked successfully so we have finished updating the username and password now um we have our version here 3.8 um which is um the second but latest version of um uh, bayano um hospital management system and i learned version 4 is out and i hope very soon i'll be displaying this version 4 on your screen for you to see it as well but for now this is what i have um, on my local host for you so please do subscribe to my channel if you like my tutorials and please 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 hit the like button leave comments and share my video someone somewhere needs to learn you know the chain already invite someone and let that person also invite another person and tell them to invite two people to join the chain and the chain keeps on growing so thank you for the time being and stay connected with the viral systems for the best tutorials you ever get online